The 10th World Meeting of Families continues in Rome. The second day of activities opened this morning with mass in English inside of St. Peter's Basilica, presided by Irish Cardinal Kevin Farrell. The day's program featured two conferences in Paul VI Hall, where families shared their experiences, especially on marriage and the value of fatherhood and motherhood. The day closed with a classical music concert at St. John Lateran Basilica. Joining us now from Rome is Ursula Marua, Director of Digital Strategy and Social Media for EWTN News. Ursula, great to see you. Uh, I'm curious, um, how is the faithful reacting on social media in the first few days of the meeting of families and what's trending? Hi, Tracy. Well, it's really amazing to see the reaction of our own, our own audience, as well as people from all over the world who are unable to come here to Rome and participate on this World Meeting of Families. But so far, to give you an idea, over one million people have interacted with any of our content that we have been delivering since the beginning of this meeting. It's amazing to see how people react and how people engage with Pope Francis' um, reflections on the beauty of family, on the beauty of marriage. I mean, this uh, universal call to live on holiness, you know, especially for the families today in this uh, moment of the history, which is so troubled and so complicated for us. Pope Francis is giving us, all of us, a lot of hope with his words, a lot of um, insights that we all really need to consider in our daily life. And to see that coming from, you know, people all over the world trying to get a, a little bit of what's going on here, it's really amazing. I mean, to, to be totally honest, I didn't expect this huge, huge interest from people uh, regarding this main, main event for, for us. What an incredible response, Ursula. Like you mentioned, um, you know, people from all over the world, over a million people reacting on social media. And of course, there are people from all over the world in Rome right now uh, for the global gathering. What's been your experience so far? Well, my experience so far, it's been really good. I mean, for us, especially for the EWTN team working here in Rome, it's been a big opportunity to gather. I mean, we've been working, most of us, remotely from different parts of the world. As, as you may know, we have been offering this coverage in four different languages. So you have here people from Latin America, from Spain, from different parts of Europe, even from Asia, you know. So it's been a really a big, big a blessing for all of us to be able to connect with our own team members as well as to see the real impact that our work can have in the church. We are here serving passionately the, the Catholic Church that we are that we all love and that we really want to serve with our own work. And just walking around Rome, you, you can see families from different parts of the world. Obviously, this is the World Meeting of Families. But also, you can see that that big expectations from people of joining together again, you know, being able to come to Rome again after two years of a pandemic that have affected all of us in different ways. So it's really nice to be here. It's beautiful. It gives us hope and it renews. It renews ourselves in our mission and in our commitment to serve the Catholic Church. Yeah, and this beautiful event I know ends on Sunday. Um, Ursula, if someone at home wants to, to follow the meetings online, how can they do so? There are several ways, and that's a great question, Tracy. I would invite all of you following this event from your home to visit not only our main EWTN.com webpage, but also all our social media channels. We are broadcasting all the events through YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, even we are posting, you know, some um, ex excerpts on Instagram and everywhere. You can just look for EWTN everywhere and you'll find us. And if you don't have time maybe to watch all the videos and all the conferences and so on, you can go to catholicnewsagency.com, for instance, and read what the Pope has been saying. And we are going to keep doing this until Sunday. And uh, really, please join us. We are, we are here serving, serving you through social media. Well, Ursula, thank you so much. I know that you're so busy there right now. So thank you for taking the time to speak with us.